Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. So a few weeks back, we did a quad crossfire video featuring four 290Xs in crossfire. Team Red was understandably happy, but we got a ton of comments groaning about the lack of balls to the wall SLI goodness. So we grabbed four GTX Titan Blacks, and here we go. Okay, so this is probably a bit of a don't try this at home type of tech tips episode, mainly because it's gonna hurt your wallet a lot. So right here, based on current pricing, this right here is nearly five grand worth of goodies. And that's just the graphics card, never mind everything else that we got going on. So let's go over this stuff real quick. We've got our trusty quad GPU bench out with an MSI Z97X power. There's a 4790K under a SwiftTech H220X liquid cooler. We've also got 16 gigs of Kingston HyperX 1866 memory. And of course, to deliver all the juice that these cards need, we've got a Corsair AX1500i power supply. So while we don't recommend this configuration as like a, you know, value sort of option at all, aside from the expense, it's pretty cool, but a little bit tricky to get going. We had to flog Anthony until he finally found a quad SLI bridge, although actually I was the one who found it, not him, and it was really easy to find. And then after that, SLI wasn't detecting all four cards, so after shuffling the cards, which for some reason worked, we just kind of enabled SLI, the video driver crashed, recovered, and then somehow after that, everything was working 100%. It's been rock solid ever since then. So as with any extreme setup, part of the fun is getting it going in the first place to get them juicy FPS. So after all that, it's working. So our crazy team green rig was uh, put to the test with 3D Mark Fire Strike at the extreme preset and stock speeds, we reached a score of 12,881 points. And we thought, well, what about raising the power limit? We gave it a modest 6% bump to the maximum power limit, and we were able to achieve a score of 13,311 3D marks, not too shabby. In fact, there you go, 13,246. So there's some slight variability between runs. Very impressive numbers for pretty much no work. And I gotta say, the performance of the stock cooler on these cards is really good. We did set up a fan blowing down on the cards, something I would recommend with any tightly packed multi GPU setup. But even in these cramped quarters, the hottest middle card was at about 85 degrees and the bottom cool card was at a frosty 61 degrees. And I've been standing here with my microphone while this has been running benchmarks this whole time. They don't get that loud. This contrasts sharply with the 290X quad Frostfire rig that we ran that was consistently thermal throttling with uh, house fan blowing fresh air over the cards, although to be fair, the 290X cards do kick out a lot more heat. Now, I know that this isn't a ton of benchmarks, and I'm sure you would have liked some triple 4K or triple 1080p monitor benchmarks, but these are actually um, Linus's cards, my cards, and they're actually gonna be leaving with me to be part of our crazy water-cooled editing room thing. So the NCIX guys only actually had a couple hours to mess around with them. And uh, if they want more numbers, they're probably gonna have to find some Titan Blacks themselves because uh, yeah, these are kind of in, uh, in, they're a hot item right now. Oh, actually one more benchmark that uh, they did kind of sneak in and run at the last minute was their standard Battlefield 4 benchmark, which is running at ultra settings and 4K resolution. Now, we did see a couple frame rate dips to 21 FPS, but it was only for a couple frames, seemed like an anomaly. And the average was 110 frames per second with a max of 148. Those are some pretty amazing numbers running at 4K in Battlefield 4. And uh, yeah, a little higher than the, uh, the 290X configuration, probably because the cards aren't throttling. So guys, thank you for watching. Comment below, what would you rather? Quad Titan Blacks or Quad 290Xs? Let the green red play more begin! Let loose in the comments. And if you're looking for a better place for discussion, hit up uh, the NCIX forum or the subreddit, links in the description below. Bear in mind, of course, guys, when discussing this, the Titan Blacks do cost like double what 290Xs do. But then of course, there's the 780 Ti. But then of course, that has three gigs of memory. But I think the point here mostly is that, aha, bye. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, we'll stay here. Don't forget to subscribe.